right, we're working on our connect four and we're looking for four in a row. I'm starting with the diagonal. So if I think of one possible diagonal, um, a diagonal that goes up and to the right maybe, or you could think of it as down and to the left. But if I wanted to look at this position on the board, five, zero as the indexes that I need, and I think of how could I create a diagonal with that? Well, the next spot in the diagonal would be four and one, and the next two spots I've got listed here, we notice that the index in the first position is going down every time, and the index in the second position is going up and every time. And not every spot on the board is a possible diagonal. If I'm thinking of the beginning spot that could possibly lead to a diagonal, well like zero, zero is never going to be a diagonal. You can't go up and to the right or down and to the left and make a diagonal. So um, I colored in green everything that couldn't be the starting spot for a diagonal if you were going to go up and to the right. So um, this spot um, two, three, that's part of a, a diagonal that starts at uh, five, zero, and that's the ending of it. But if you think of that as a starting position and you go up and to the right, you can go one, two spots, and then you're off the board. So anything that's colored in in green cannot be the beginning of a diagonal if you're going to the right and up. It's going to go off the board. So really, when you're looking for diagonals, um, you can just start at a starting spot of row three or four or five and look in columns starting zero, one, two, three, and that's it. If you check all those and look for a diagonal, then you, there either is one or isn't one. So in my diagonal win function, I am going to start at row three and then check row four and five and stop before I get to six. And then I'm looking at columns zero through three and stop before I get to four. I'm not interested in four zeros in a row, so I'm only going to look at things if it's not a zero. So if it's a one or a two, then player one or two might have four in a row. And I'm going to look and see, is this spot the same as this? And notice I'm going down in the row and up in the column and down in the row and up in the column and down in the row and up in the column because that is, that's what I need to have to have a diagonal that goes in that direction. And what about the diagonals that go the other way? So let's imagine I'm starting my diagonal at zero, zero, and I'm going down and to the right. Well, the next position is one, one, and then two, two, and then three, three. So my first index and my second index, they're both in sync. They're both going up by one every time to make a diagonal, no matter where you start. And again, not all the spots on the board can be the beginning of a diagonal that goes down and to the right. Anything that's colored in in green, if you go down and to the right, you're going to go off the board, and so you can't possibly have four in a row. So if I'm starting in a columns 0, 1, 2, or 3, or and rows 0, 1, or 2, that possibly might be a diagonal. Those are the only ones I'm going to check. Um, so I'm going to kind of do something similar to what I did here to check the diagonals going in the other direction paste that in. So these are diagonals going, I'm going to say uh, down and to the right. There's more than one way you could describe these, but these are just notes for myself. So if I'm looking at the, I'm not going to be starting at zero anymore. I'm going to now, I mean, not going to start at three anymore. I'm going to now start at zero. And um, how many times do we want to go through? Well, we want to stop when we get to three, so I'm going to put four here because with the range command, it's going to stop before it gets here. Um, my columns, I'm also going to start at zero. Oh, I think I went one too far on here. Um, the row was here and the column was supposed to be four. Okay, that looks right to me. Um, and then these guys have to both increase by one and two and three. So if those are all the same, then a player one, and when I'm printing which player one, I'm gonna print either the one or the two that I found that had three other matches in a diagonal on the board. So testing this could be pretty, um, pretty cumbersome to try to put in enough things to make a diagonal. So I preloaded my board with some impossible um, data so that 
there is, I'm ready to go with a diagonal if I just put a one in the first position, and I'm ready to go with another diagonal if going the opposite direction, if I just put a two in the second to last column. So that way you don't have to watch me test all day. We'll either know if it works or it doesn't work right away. So let me do run, run module on this. And we're on player one, so I'm going to say I'm going to go in position number one, and voila, it says player one, one, when I added that in. Let's run it again and make sure the diagonals the other way work. And this time I wanted to go position, let me see, zero, one, two, three, four, five, so about position six is what I need. Oh, oh uh, I forgot that player two is not the one uh, that goes first, so player one just blocked. So I really need a two all the way up here. I'm just going to restart that because I don't want to have to type in that many inputs to test this out. So my player one's just going to not win, and then I'm going to try to win for my um, player two. And we just need to type in that six and player two one. So now all I need to do is work on the uh, horizontal wins and the vertical wins, and then we'll be done with the connect four.